what does it mean for tennis players at the elite level if you miss out on six eight, eight months maybe a year uh, you know because of something which frankly very few people have understood what's happening in the world around them and then you you suddenly confronted with this i was reading an article of uh, simone biles the gymnast from uh, from the united states and she's missed out a year on the olympics and she said you know just coping with that thought you know will i still be able because she was prepared to win mentally a medal in in 2020 now she was in that article it came so she was not sure whether she would be mentally all there for the 2021 just going internalizing the old delay how do you think athletes athletes at this at the you know at the elite level like you all have been what does it mean to be moved away from the sport for such a long period well i think the most difficult part about all of it for any athlete really is the unknowing right because we're always so used to working backwards from goals and objectives and and not knowing when you're going to be able to play or what the circumstances are going to be that you're trying to prepare for both mentally emotionally physically what it's going to look like you know that unknowing creates the level of angst and so you have to you know it's a struggle sort of knowing where to give yourself breaks and where to where to push yourself um that's been a big deal you know not knowing when to play so i call it sort of a a great equalizer if you will you know because you you take somebody who's the best in the world at something they know how to get themselves in perfect place to do you know obviously what they need to do now all of a sudden they don't have this information they don't have, it's all new so you get out there with no audience and then all of a sudden the person that gets a little bit more nervous in a big environment is kind of dealing more with a calm environment and and so i kind of have seen this be a quite a big a uh, great equalizer across many sports and then you have those that are at an interesting time in their career where it's a real disadvantage yeah. you know the players that are older you look at a a federer or maybe even a serena and you start to you start to realize that missing this kind of time um you know it it tricks your body your body's getting older quicker because you're much older and and all of a sudden you're asked to just kind of shut down and then restart uh not going to be not going to be easy for some more than others the younger enthusiastic ones that have that uh, engine that can keep pushing their body and their mind uh, yeah. might just be the right time for them to to flow to the top so let me switch to the other end of the spectrum stephy you know we've talked to the elite athletes but what about kids 6 7 year olds 8 year olds who are trying to grow into a sport naturally irrepressible they just want to run around and you know roll in the mud and kick around whatever else and then suddenly uh, they are locked up you know and yeah, then uh, and, i mean yeah. you played at a very early age so did andre and you probably know what it took to start so early yeah i mean it's uh, i mean the we i mean the you know being locked up if you don't have this space or if you're not allowed to go out i mean i'm i'm hoping that a lot of kids have found the way outside you know back on the streets you know kicking around maybe a ball or you know i've seen that the you know the, the interest of people walking now i mean i we have three dogs at ha- uh, at home and so i'm always out walking walking and now i see suddenly so many more people being out there and seeing a lot more kids out there it it was tough for a little while when when all the playgrounds were were closed and you know but you do see kids suddenly being out on the street and hiking and playing with each other um but you know even as we we realize with with education with sports um you know it it it's been it's been a, a real challenging time and and parents that usually would be at work you know you having work to work from home juggling the the families and and um you know a lot of friends that been 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 really having a hard time with uh, you know being there for the kids um suddenly having to to learn school from home but also having to work um you know it's it's you know it's 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 just open up a, um, a, you know it's just a completely different side but i think one of the things that we've we've realized is how important it is to to concentrate on your health especially with the kids you know get them 
get them, um, you know, moving, get them understanding the, the right kind of foods, maybe concentrate on those things in, in that during this period where, um, you know, it's most important.